In just days, our nation will celebrate 150 years of the true North strong and free. Though for our indigenous communities, it will be anything but a celebration. Tonight, one mother's story and her request for each of us to pause and take stock this Canada Day, what she says is a systemic Canadian crisis. She was found stuffed upside down in an 18 by 18 construction hole behind Massey Hall. And she had given birth to a little boy six weeks prior to that. He likes to make noises now. When I saw some of the pictures of where she passed away, there's no way that she could have tripped and fallen into that hole with all the rebar and the construction materials and everything. And the construction workers also said that she was put in that hole. Patricia Carpenter would be turning 40 this year. She was just 14 years old when her life ended suddenly. A happy young girl, Patricia's cause of death has been deemed undetermined, according to her mother. He's 12 pounds right now. Uh, 12 pounds, so. 12 pounds, 6 ounces. This video was shot just days before the young girl from Alderville First Nation's lifeless body was found. It's wrong. Oh. Nobody's going to be held accountable for where she's gone, where she is right now. She's been gone 25 years. Her boy now is 25. It's taken the better part of two decades for her mother Joyce to find the strength to speak up about what she calls the ongoing issue of how police investigate the death of Indigenous people. They could have done a better job. They could have investigated more. And in two days, they had her death undetermined. According to the RCMP, there are roughly 1,200 missing and murdered Indigenous women cases in our country. It's a number many believe is much, much higher. The Indigenous community knows this is happening. It's, it's the rest of Canada that kind of needs to wake up and ask questions. To truly honour these young women and their families. A group of graduates from Ryerson University have launched a moving initiative called Shades of Our Sisters. It remembers the lives of Patricia and others. They've been going to both reserves and cities, creating this installation called Feathers for Our Women. Each feather represents one of 1,200 lost souls. Each comes with a personal message. When they write on them, they write about what they want to see in our communities, and they also write what a woman has taught them. And they're beautiful. We have an overwhelming amount of feathers that say love and resilience and respect. For Joyce Carpenter, she won't be celebrating this Canada Day. They say 150 years, and I keep seeing all the advertisements on TV, the 150-year celebration. Well, no, we've gone through 150 years of hell in my books. This Canada Day, she'll be calling for change once and for all. And first to remember her daughter and the thousands of other Indigenous daughters whose lives have disappeared with each passing year. I want people to know that she lived that she was loved, still loved, missed, and she can't speak for herself, so I'm speaking up for her. Bye-bye till next month.